Good day folks, I'm Tim, and you're watching The Adventures of Two-Wheel Tim. In a previous video, you might have seen me charge my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 with my EcoFlow Delta Mini from 35% to 100% in about three hours. Well, today I'm gonna to charge my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 exclusively with my Baku 200 watt solar panel and MPPT charge controller. See here the Baku 200 watt solar panel. It comes in a nice compact design. It weighs about 15 pounds. The charge box here on the solar panel itself has two USB-C ports and two standard USB ports. And it has a six foot long charging cable. It comes with a charge control box that plugs directly into the bike. So this will plug into my Ultra Beast 2. It was uh, 900 bucks, shipped from Utah, Baku Bikes. The charge controller has an input voltage from 12 volts to 50 volts, and its battery voltage setting is 24, 36, 48, 60, and 72 volts. So this is the solar panel unfolded, and I'm gonna set the solar panel up on my roof to maximize the sun exposure today. You can see the charge controller's flashing some letters and numbers. So P is the panel voltage coming in from the solar panel. B is the battery voltage. And C is the current. So as I hold the set button down, you'll see it's set at 48. If I hold it, it'll start to flash. So now you can set it. So there's 24, 36, 48, 60, 17, and then self-set mode. So of course the Ultra Beast 2 having 48 volt batteries, I'm gonna set it at 48, I'm gonna hold it down. So it's now set. If I just hold it down and test it for a moment, you'll see it's at 48. So you see the red solar light, meaning that it's activated and connected to the solar panel, and the green light means it's activated and connected to the battery. So the maximum charging voltage for the 48 volt battery is gonna be 57.6 volts. So the beast is at 19% charge, and we're just gonna see how long it takes to charge this thing. So the battery voltage is pulling in 50.5 volts. The panel voltage is pulling in about 16.9 to 17 volts. The current is about 10.8, 11 volts. It's fluctuating. So it's getting a pretty good charge going. And it's at 75%. So this thing has gained about 66% battery charge. So this Baku 200 watt solar panel is doing really well. Check back in a couple hours. Okay, it's now 1 p.m. Pacific time, and it's an hour later than the last time I checked, and we're now up to 84%. All right, so I got kind of busy this afternoon and just let this thing charge up. Here it is about 421. It's been connected now for eight hours, and it is 100% charged. And this is exclusively on the solar panel with the charge controller. And when finished, it folds up into a nice little compact design with a handle, and it weighs just about 15 pounds. Okay, that was charging my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 with the Baku 200 watt solar panel. Um, so it was connected to the solar panel for a total of about eight hours, and it charged up at 100%. Now keep in mind the Ultra Beast 2 has two 48 volt, 15 amp hour batteries in the down tube. I started at 19% and so it charged both batteries the most eight hours, if not less, because like I said, I hadn't checked it in probably the last three hours. Baku's a company based in Utah and they make e-bikes what appear to be for primarily hunting purposes. And they do sell this 200 watt solar panel with a charge controller. The charge controller did not come with instructions in English. Uh, and so I had to do a, quite a bit of research online to find information to assist me with what the numbers and letters mean on the control box. I'm not a solar expert by any means. I'm looking for products that I can use and evolve as an e-bike owner. The Baku 200 watt solar panel seems to be a good option. Uh, the Baku company, I contacted them 
and let them know what I plan to do, that I wanted to try their product and review it on my YouTube channel. And they refused to give me any kind of a discount. Uh, it is a good product, but keep in mind, I'm not making money off this review. Everything that I've reviewed up to this point in any of my videos, I've paid for 100%. So you can support the products that I review, but you could really benefit me by supporting my channel, by subscribing, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And I do wish to grow this channel so I can continue to make these types of videos. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.